where fixed or portable monitoring equipment for H2S should be provided to determine the status at these locations, with particular emphasis being placed on areas of poor ventilation. All actions to be taken when H2S is detected in stream or in the air by monitoring equipment should include the identification of safe briefing areas, taking into account the installation, design, orientation and wind direction, the provision of breathing apparatus, gas detection, wind socks, flags and associated equipment and a plan of action for essential and non-essential personnel for the various levels of H2S alarm and any remedial action to be taken if an alarm condition persists or worsens. Plan of action is essential for the rescue of persons exposed to H2S which identifies rescue team members, their duties, responsibilities and actions to be taken. As you can see, a comprehensive contingency plan is essential to minimize the risk of exposure to H2S. However, contingency plans are of little value unless they can be implemented. Training and induction briefings are therefore essential to make sure everyone knows what to do in the event of H2S being detected and should cover the dangers of H2S and the areas where it is most likely to accumulate, breathing apparatus and the donning and use of airline escape and rescue sets, types of portable gas detection equipment and how to use them, alarms and actions to be taken in an alarm situation, musters at safe briefing areas and evacuation drills. Rescue drills should be carried out regularly to make sure the rescue team members are familiar with the rescue procedures and provide them with essential practice.